In this short video, I'm going to show how we can use an online simulation to measure the specific heat capacity of a material. So this particular simulation uses a calorimeter. So on the left hand side, I have a calorimeter. A calorimeter is basically a device that uh, is insulated from the environment. So any heat exchange between materials is only exchanged between the materials and not the environment. So inside this calorimeter, we have uh, water and we can adjust the amount of water that we have inside the calorimeter by using the slider. And we can also adjust the temperature of that water inside the calorimeter. So that would be the initial temperature of the water for our particular experiment. Once we get the temperature set for the value we want, we notice that the thermometer on the left, which records the temperature of the water inside the calorimeter um, hasn't really changed, but if I hit reset, then that adjusts that thermometer reading to read what the initial temperature of the calorimeter is. So this is 17, and as I come down here, I realize that that temperature is also reading 17. As I look over to the right, I have a beaker that's filled with water, and then inside the beaker is a particular metal. And so I can adjust the type of metal that I have by using the slider at the top. And there's various different uh, metals. I have aluminum, silver, and so on. I'm gonna go ahead and just put iron on. I can also adjust the mass of the uh, metal that I have by using the slider here. So I can go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna set that at uh, 70 grams. And then I can heat this particular metal up by turning on the Bunsen burner. And so as the Bunsen burner is left on, the temperature of the beaker and the water and the substance rises. When it gets to the temperature that you want it to be, you can just turn it off. And then you can use the thermometer on the right to record the initial temperature of the metal. So as I look at this, this is probably about 74 degrees Celsius, and that would be the initial temperature of my metal. The next step is to move that metal into the calorimeter so that the metal, the hot metal can mix with the cool water inside the calorimeter and we can see what happens. So I'm going to take that metal now and I'm going to move it to the calorimeter and I notice that the temperature of the calorimeter rises. And so what's happening is the metal that was at a higher temperature is losing heat and the heat that's lost by the metal is gained by the water that was inside the calorimeter. And they eventually reach some equilibrium temperature and that's the final temperature of both substances, the water in the calorimeter and the metal. And I read this value and I see that it was about 20 degrees Celsius. So by knowing the mass of the water, the initial temperature of the water in the calorimeter, the mass of the metal, initial temperature of the metal, and then also this final equilibrium temperature, uh, we can determine the, what it, the specific heat capacity is of this metal. The other information, of course, that we need to know is the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.186 joules per gram degree Celsius. So this is the simulation that we will use for the lab activity that deals with um, determining the specific heat capacity and using calorimetry.